Well, hello, Leo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel for another Vlogmas video. Um, for those who do not know, my name is Yasmeen. How are you? Um, and if you didn't know that, that means that you're not subscribed. So please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I've already pre-shuffled uh, these decks already. Um, and I usually just, you know, cut them on camera, which is what I'm going to do. So how are you doing, Leo? How are you guys feeling today? Hopefully well. Hopefully you guys are staying warm in the cold regions and cool in the hot region. And if you are in the hot region, just know that I am jealous. <laughs> okay, that's how I feel right now. All right, let's go ahead and get your message today. Leo, I have you with, ooh, King of Water, King of Cups. Someone loves you, Leo. And I think I've said this before that you guys have someone that's coming back into your life um, and they have emotions, they have feelings, they're not opening up, yada, yada. We already know, right? And this particular card says, open your heart and mind to those around you because they are trustworthy. This is fear coming from this card. Okay, maybe they need to take advice for someone who's been in love before and, it, it, and everything is working out. Why aren't they telling you how much they love you, Leo? Now, I do feel for a lot of you guys that some of you, too, have not been able to express how you feel for your person. And it could be just because you guys are not talking to them. And if you were talking to them, or if you are, it's just because you don't want to scare them away. Or I don't want to be the first person that say it, but you, you guys both feel it. So the King of Cups could be for either one of you. It is feelings that are not being expressed. But I definitely feel like it is for your person. So Leo, we're going to go ahead and get to two more cards. We want to see what this is all about here for you. The Wheel and the Hermit. There, there is definitely change on the horizon, but let's go ahead and get to this hermit. This is talking about self-reflection. It says, time spent in peaceful meditation, meaningful solitude. I feel like your person is starting to realize something. We're talking about wisdom, their inner light, realization. Okay. Self-discovery, I'm not even sure if I said that. What is it about, you know, what is it that they've learned about themselves that they can love, that they are in love? Maybe this is a shock to them <laughs> that they have allowed themselves to love someone and they're like, hey, I didn't think I was going to be here, but they are. A lot of people need, you know, uh, time alone to even gather all those feelings and thoughts. And I feel like even with you, maybe you guys are waiting for them and there's a sense of loneliness with you guys. Like, okay, I love them, I miss them. And there's just loneliness, okay? So I do feel that. But here, with the will card here, I see a lot of change. It says there's gonna be a fresh new start, end of delays, which is some of you guys have been waiting. Like when is this when is this joker coming? Okay, <laughs> when are they gonna show up in my life? Okay, because I'm getting tired of being in this one position. But the wheel talks about movement, a very positive change that's gonna happen in your life. And some of you guys may be traveling, uh, maybe they're somewhere in the future, and it's not you know like we have too far to go at this point. Can't really travel and do too much, but there is positive change. Okay. So where you are now, you're not going to be forever. So don't think that way, Leo. Don't think that you're going to be in the same spot forever because that's just not true. You have something to look forward to, okay? But there is someone who really does love you. They, they, uh, they have feelings, okay? We know you have it, but they have it too, okay? So let's go ahead and get three cards for the lovely Leo. The Leo fam. See what we got? Oh, we had the will twice. Are y'all prepared for this? Do we see the Knight of Pentacles? We absolutely do see the Knight of Pentacles down here. Remember, this is what you guys are waiting for. 
So you're, you're like, I know something coming. I'm just, I miss them. I'm, I miss them. I want my bae to come in. I just want them to come. But when they do, are you going to be ready? Some of you guys are dealing with earth signs. You know, I don't say anything about signs, but some of you guys are. I don't know what made me say that or think that, but that's just how I feel. Or it's in your chart. But this is energy. I don't say signs. Sorry. Just, just felt the need to say it. But, you know, here, this, this nine of pentacles come in and they are more, they're serious. Okay. They have reflected, that was part of the hermit card. They've been thinking about you and how this connection can go and how far it can go and what they really want. And it took time because the nine of pentacles don't move fast. You guys are trying to rush time, trying to rush them. They're like, listen, I need to make sure this is right. So they're thinking while you're waiting. But when they do come in, this is going to be a lot of change for you. Now, I don't think that because they're coming in that you're going to be experiencing change. I think you're going to be experiencing change for multiple reasons, not just because of someone coming in your life. Some of you guys are changing jobs. You guys are gaining financial security. There's a lot of things that's, that's going on here, but... You will be experiencing change and there is some type of offer coming in, some type of steady commitment here. Let's go ahead and get another deck for you, Leo. See what we got. Oh, yeah. Now, overthinking. I don't do reverse, but I feel like you're going to be getting out of this, which is really good. Overthinking in your head. I feel like your person is going to stop overthinking situations too. Okay. They're really smart. I feel like you know that this is just one of those things that it's like, oh, for them to make a decision, it takes forever. But, you know, they have to do it at their own time. But then it's going to be the spark. Something's going to come along. You're going to feel it. They're going to feel it. This is how you're going to feel. This happy, energetic mode. You guys haven't been feeling it in a while. So you, you, need, you need some energy in your life. You need some action because <laughs> you're like, I haven't been feeling it. Okay. Yasmin, I haven't been feeling uh, any of this excitement that you've been saying, but that's the, that's the thing. That's the reason why I say future. Okay. I don't even know how I did this. Let's do this again because I don't even know how I did it. And this means I'm, I'm supposed to do this because I don't remember what was what. Let's get it for Leo. Here, reuniting. Because someone is missing you. Yeah. Some of you guys are going to be meeting someone new and fresh. And it's going to be like, oh, yeah. And others. This is going to be like, they miss you. And it's cold out there in these streets. Okay. But for either one of your realities, there's going to be celebration and joy here. We all know it, but are you prepared for it when it comes in? Well, that's just going to be up to you. You're going to be experiencing change, okay? Let's go ahead and get to the Romance Angels for Leo. We're going to see what uh, the message is for today. Ooh, very soon. Past life relations and new love. Leo, be prepared because I've already said this. Some of you guys have already dealt with this person in this life past, in this past life. Some of your past, past life. Some of you guys are going to be dealing with a new person and it said very soon. So that whole waiting, that type of thing, that's going to stop. You're not going to have to be dealing with that for, for, you know, for a very long time now that you have, but... You're not going to have to be dealing with that for fun, for too long. So we're going to go ahead and get your last message here, Leo. And it says, ooh, this was actually with Virgo. Blame. They're blaming you for not being together. You're blaming them. You're like, you didn't do this, this, and this. And, and like I said before, you know, both parties have responsibilities for this situation. Someone walked away. And I'm not saying that, you know, you should be blamed for walking, walking away if someone is not acting right, but you did walk away. And this person is blaming you for walking away. 
but there is here, you know, some some irritation because, you know, both of you guys want to be together. And you probably know that that's how they are. Like, well, you, well, you shouldn't have did it. And it's like, well, yeah, take responsibility for what you did too, okay? But here, there will be a conversation that will be had. Oh, yeah. But anywho, Leo, that was your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. And again, if please like and subscribe. I will see you guys back here again tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Thank you. I love you and I'll see you later.